quite a bullish day yesterday. It was quite risk on. I wasn't too sure whether or not it was legit. So let's have a look at the SSI for the S&P. Um, see, the thing is, is that they've gone long, and that is the issue uh, currently. They went long uh, here. Um, so, you know, it fell, which would be right, but it shouldn't be coming up because the fact that these guys went long and they've gone long here. They've, they've crossed the 21 moving average. Uh, that would be a sell here. Okay, so the fact it's going up is telling us that these guys are getting paid. However, uh, fundamentally, um, because we haven't got the Ukraine crisis anymore, it might just be like, that's an old story. Um, then it could be like, we could be risk on. Um, according to the Russian and Ukraine, well, it was never going to happen. It was the Western media were blown out of proportion. Uh, so fundamentally, we could be going up. Sentimentally, we shouldn't. So that's important to know. Uh, we had the gold signal. Uh, that did okay. Um, hopefully you would have caught some profits there. I managed to get quite a bit of profit. It was quite nice. But you have to make sure that you've insured like an insurance policy because the way the market's bouncing around all the time, uh, if you're not careful, you'll just like get out of break even or, you know, it might hit your stop. So as soon as you're in profit, just move your stop ahead of entry. Okay, so that being said, we do have... Um, Quite a lot of data we've got the uk inflation data we've got the canadian inflation data and we've got their fmc minutes and the retail sales as well so it's quite a busy day especially for the pound uh, usd and cad uh, so do bear that in mind it's going to maybe set the precedence for the rest of the week this is going to be a quite a big mover i think and don't forget we need to flush out these guys they're ruining the party because they're going long they, they think that they're being smart by buying the dip, but they don't realise that they're forming the majority, and so they have to be punished. Um, but, yeah, it's tricky, isn't it? I mean, look at the UK 100. They're, they're short. They're short the US 30. They're short France and Germany, just the uh, S&P. So once they've got flushed out on the S&P, it will look good for risk, so... Uh, it's one of those things, so do be careful. I still think we're going to need to flush out on this, but it might go up because of fundamentals. And also we have to remember the big picture, um, uh, dashboard, is that they are, um, on average, quite uh, bearish on risk. So it says the S&P, that's screwing uh, the, the metric. Okay, so just bear that in mind. Quickly go over some SLCs, and um, we'll look at AJ. We can see that we're creating higher lows, which is, should be quite obvious to see, higher highs. Um, so, you know, that's just a really quick way of looking at the structure. You know, it doesn't, won't take any skill whatsoever to work out, you know, that's that's going up because, you know, we're creating that higher low. We've got this support, as you can see, these kind of whips off from support. See that launch here? Uh, there's like a double bottom almost there. Uh, SOC above is 83, the one below is 82.34. I think we might challenge the daily weekly range high, which has got a confluence here. Laser quarter and yearly open. If we go above that, that's going to be pretty bullish, right? So do bear in mind this is where we open for the year. Uh, EJ maybe. Um, likewise, you know, we're creating higher lows. Um, High, high there, you could say. So, you know, we're creating like, uh, I think, um, some pretty bullish pattern there. So, looks like we're going to possibly get the SLC above 13160 and one below is 13105. Um, don't forget these ver uh, vertical lines are the weekly open and daily open, and also keep an eye on your volume node as well because this is where the high activity is, it's where the guys stepped in, the, the big pockets with their big funds, so they stepped in here, um, so that would be an interesting level here at 131.86 um, pound maybe, likewise you can see is, we're looking like we're quite risk on because the yen's dumping, uh, 157 and 156.55, I think this is going to be likely, 157, yeah, so uh, there's a volume node there, which will act as support. Um, yep, so that's that. It's looking quite bullish on risk. That's saying that there's going to be a resistance there. 
uh, dollar yen, and we'll do euro and then pound or euro and Aussie or something. Uh, one above, one fifteen ninety, and one fifteen sixty. Um, yes, you see we're doing it. very similar formations here on cross yen. Uh, so yeah, I mean we might be going to a point of exhaustion and then dump. That's what it might be indicating. So let's look at the euro um, weekly open, quarterly, year, uh, yearly open. As you see above, I think it's quite possible. One thirteen seventy, we're eleven pips away. One above is one thirteen fifteen. So um, it's definitely tricky. So you could say that was like we had a break, maybe. Up we go. So it's it's quite tricky, isn't it? Um, Aussie, maybe. Um, so yeah, this is looking quite bullish. I don't forget to keep an eye on your ADRs as well. We're still within those parameters, so we're in like normal parameters. If we exceed ADR or AWR, then it's a slightly unusual. But we've got a lot more. We've got a lot of gas in the tank before we exceed those values. One above is seventy one eighty five, and the one below is seventy one thirty nine. A lot of um, buyers stepping in here. Uh, a lot of volume. At seventy-one twenty-seven. So good idea to get a volume profile on your screen. This is also available on the starter pack, um, so it's worth getting. I think it's called uh, Lever Sensor Modified, and we'll just look at the bubbles and then we'll finish up. So Aussie is strong. So you know you're looking back at those charts and you see that we're risk on. So that would make sense. Uh, yen is also in a strong sell, so that would make sense, right? Because the yen was looking weak and it's in the strong sell section, so euro is in the strong sell section and the dollar is going to join, so which is a very weird combination, but you know, it's one of those things. So, possible the USD is going to come up here and then we're going to be like quite uh, risk on according to FX sentiment, so um, but quite tricky. Uh, but just trade carefully and you should be fine. We've got FOMC, so just that's probably all eyes on that. Once we've got this inflation data out of the way, it's in 12 hours' time, so I'm definitely going to be taking a break at some point. Today is a long day, isn't it? So keep an eye on that, and you should be fine, and just trade carefully. And if you need me to help you at all, just let me know.